Oh god, that's heavy. Finally got a chance to fly. Look at this. Muddy, icy, wet, cold. Oh yeah, wet, soggy. It's a bit drier over here, but it's gonna be a case of setting the wing up last. There's not much wind. Taking off, taking off towards the lake in my background. It's a test day anyway, sort of as close as I've got to a full Icarus load, that's what I'm testing. Uh, there's not much happening up there, but it seems fairly constant. There's a gust every now and then. But I wouldn't go as far as to say reversible. Which is a bit of a pain, because with the weight I'm carrying today... Or maybe... With the weight I'm carrying today... Uh, a reverse, a bit of wind, enough wind to, to need a reverse would actually help me out, so it might be a, a very long forward takeoff. But I'll get set up and then uh, we'll have a look at all the crap I'm carrying. Uh, there we go. First, we've got this the bag Giles made that has got tent, uh, yeah, complete tent, paramotor cover, wing bag in it. I think that's everything. Uh, around here, we've got tent poles fixed here, nice and solid. Uh, I have got over half a tank there. I think it's a 14 litre tank, and I have got bang on 10 litres in there. Uh, around this side is my hated reserve. Might have a new reserve and container coming in the future. Uh, I've also got this bag here, which is fairly heavy, and that's got everything I've got so far for my Icarus kit in it. So, uh, sleeping bag, cook kit, food, first aid kit, loads of stuff. I'll, uh, if I get time when I land, I'll, um, I'll unpack it all, but if not, it'll definitely be in a future video. So I'm going to try and get that lot off the ground in this wind, which is allegedly 8 to 12. Um, if I struggle with a forward, I'll wait for a gust and do a reverse and get that done. Let's uh, see if I can get this, all this weight off the ground. Looks like one of those Icarus people's paramotors. Stuff on it. I'm lucky in that with a four stroke I can just fill that one tank and I don't have to uh, carry extra fuel. I'm sort of Giles Fowler is planning for his Icarus as well and he's been messing around with bladders and ways to transfer fuel from bladder to fuel tank and trying different things hopefully that's something that with a four stroke I can stay away from right this ground is wet I'm going to get this done as quick as possible so, no video last week, apologies, just didn't fly. Nothing going on, nothing worth talking about. Pick a bit of higher ground here. I'll try and kite this open instead of laying it all out. Okay, that sock says that way. Yeah, it's not enough wind for a reverse. I'm sorry to say. Even though reverse is a mere bit of a running joke. Okay. Horse poo. What was I saying? Oh yeah, not a lot happened. Well, lots of stuff's happening sort of behind the scenes. Getting prepped for the uh, RAF 40 flight. Uh, some money rolling in there to the Just Giving link. Thank you, people. Really, really, really appreciated. Uh, not everybody wants to use Just Giving because they famously take a percentage, which we're willing to deal with because they do make it very convenient for people everywhere to chuck a bit of spare in. But if anyone doesn't, then you can PayPal me or Giles. 
cash if you know any of us I know there's some cash coming from a couple of different people that'll all get paid in right engines warmed up primed warmed etc lots of weight on there bit nervous to tell the truth uh, but it's a test day I'm testing that I can get off the ground this isn't even a full Icarus kit there's more stuff to go in that bag there's more fuel to go in that tank I've launched with a full tank once and by god was it heavy and that was all I was carrying just an extra tank just a, a full tank uh, so this is over half a tank 11 12 13 14 yeah I can get about 15 liters in there if I tip it over and fill it up the neck uh, but yeah there's more stuff to go in there don't know what yet so anyway let's try and get it off the ground this could all end in disaster but if it does at least I'll have learned something God, it's just heavy to carry it about heavy to get it out of the car I would normally fly with about three or four liters in clear to the leading edge that's it committed to a forward now oh I'm dying to get a reverse in I get the piss taken out of me royally every video by loads of people Matt Ramsden I heard your last bit of uh, piss taking Matt Ramsden off of Yorkshire the Matt Ramsden who said warm the core and you won't need to warm the hands and then uh, purchased a pair of heated gloves earlier this week so look forward to hearing about that yeah testing a bunch of things all this weight uh, these trousers I'll link them below they're like Giles found them they're like 23 pounds on eBay what's that $30 something like that um, fleece lined windproof dead cheap just you know nice I think you probably could get away with wearing them in the summer as well I've got a pair of um, thermals on underneath these but I'm not cold and I'm also testing this uh, this jacket from fly candy if you can see that which they very nicely sent as part of the sponsorship for um, the Rafa 40 flight uh, this thing would be out of my price range normally uh, so I'm giving it a test as well so yeah full disclosure I haven't paid for it um, but I'm gonna test it out I'm not cold and it is two degrees out here I don't know what that is in old money but just above freezing see that's getting reversey but I'm going for a forward I reckon I've probably got 20 minutes up there the clouds are starting to come over oh god that's heavy okay so somewhere one two Four. Yeah, that's heavy. Oh dear. These are quite light gloves. I think I'll be alright to take off with these. But jacket's pretty cool. It's got these uh, inners with a thumb loop, which is, means there's a complete barrier for drafts in there. And then it all seals up kind of nice over here. This apparently is reinforced different than this yeah it is different than this because uh, that's where your risers go when you're taking off pockets everywhere got these are uh, easy pull things on the pocket every single pocket has got a d-ring inside for tethering stuff tether your mars bar that would definitely be your mars bar pocket uh, yeah so I'm testing this jacket spoiler alert it's amazing I'm very warm. I'm actually sweaty now. Okay, let's get this all closed. So I'll connect this. We are metal to metal at the moment. Until I come up with a proper way to do this. Uh, turn you on. Okay. So this is getting used to oh you look at that look at that <laughs> I 
better. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, trims into the line. One, two, brakes clear to the pulleys. Yeah, right, let's get this engine started up again. Oh, it's heavy, very heavy. This is my sort of first experience of carrying enough weight to do a good cross country. And it's enough weight to tell you that you don't want to be fluffing launches. It's not that good, it's just warm. Ooh. Right, it's getting borderline reverse now, I think, looking at that top. That is. Oh yeah, rises comfortably on the reinforced bit. Right, that's a lot of weight. There's bags knocking around. Bag on my right. Equal pressure on the wing. Everything looks good and normal. Centered into wind, roughly. Let's do this. All the weight, well, most of the weight. Here we go, up in the air. Came up nice. She's up, she's up. Bit of control. And go. Heavy. Pull it to the right. Brakes are right around the pulley. There we go. Oh, yes. Brake line right around the pulley. Just right brake mostly on all the time. Had to hold a lot of left to stay straight. Let's get some height. A little gusty up here. rock and roll. Getting used to that these days. My brake line was just just wrapped around that tiny little pulley. Locking that brake on to a degree. Not loads of brake, just enough to pull right constantly. I couldn't really feel it until I was just off the ground uh, and then I was already turning right so I managed to roughly keep it straight and work out what the score was. If it had been a problem I'd have just flown round the lake very gently and slowly and then come in and land it again. Well the jacket's warm has to be said. <laughs> I'd assume with this weight, extra weight, that I should be more responsive, I think, because I'm further up there on my wing's weight thing, but I was already light on this wing anyway, so let's give it a little bit of right, see what happens. We got look, lean, turn. Uh, I couldn't say for certain that that's any more responsive. Maybe I'm supposed to go a bit faster with a bit more weight. I don't know. I don't know too much about weights and wings. I'm a noob. I didn't know that my instructor said this wing was alright for me. Oh, feels so good to be up. Again, another morning of yeah, putting it off a little bit. I was working this morning. I got in at about lunchtime. I've got to pick my kids up from school at three. 
watching the clock tick down and thinking, oh, I can do this, I can do that, I can do that. I've got to charge this. Foot cam says the battery is completely empty. Bit of a malfunction going on there. But then I thought, Jesus, if I don't go flying now, I'm not going to get a chance for another few days. At least. And then another week goes by without a video for you. 900 feet. The bag seems to work okay. Um, sort of basically copying Tucker on his... Uh, that needs sorting out. Copying Tucker on his Icarus thing where he just had a duffel on his lap. I did notice it during takeoff because there's a lot going on. But I've got a pocket here I can get into in flight. Water in there. I've got a pocket at the back here I can get into in flight. Uh, there's plenty of room on top for this. I've got quite a bit of weight in here, but it does sit nice and comfy. This bag, if you can see it, is sitting comfy here. I guess I should try the mirror at some point. That's something for uh, when the cruise controls are on and the throttle stowed somewhere. It sits a lot further back than I imagined, but the arm is a lot further back, so... Okay, what else? Yeah, so this jacket, I literally going to wear it for every flight now, jacket and trousers. Uh, can't see any reason for a flight suit. How beautiful down there. Yeah, the, the arms are extra long so when you put your hands up it doesn't pull anywhere, it doesn't pull under your arms. Uh, it doesn't ride up. Thank you to um, Mike at Fly Candy because this is awesome. They also sent us a load of other stuff, uh, hoodies and t-shirts, which I've been wearing a little bit. And without trying to sound like I'm advertising, it's all good quality stuff, the hoodies especially. In fact, I've got one on now. The rim around the hood is like a duvet. Uh, we've had some snow and some below freezing temperatures and I've been out walking to the gym and back in just a hoodie. Well, other clothes as well, but no big coat on. And it's been more than enough, so can recommend. i got to do another flight where I land out. I'm waiting for a chance to do that with Nigel. Perhaps over to Borough Hill in Daventry. I decided to bin the, uh, the meth stove. Uh, it's good fun making it, good fun using it. Trying to use it with freezing cold hands wasn't fun. Uh, I got a little tiny uh, gas pot stand burner that fits on top of a little tiny gas bowl. It's all in this bag at the moment. All fits inside my cup. Uh, I thought, oh, it's obviously heavier than a bottle of meths and that, that meth stove, but it's, um, you know, why make life difficult? I'm not short of room, so if I, have to, if I carry a little bit more weight, I carry a bit more weight. It's not a problem as shown by that amazing takeoff down there. I ought to get down really, I'm going to run out of time, I've got to pick the kids up. What else have I got to say? Ah yes. Uh, so, as well as the sponsorship coming in for the Rafa 40 event, uh, which has been amazing, paramotorclub.org, BHPA, uh, cash from those two people to help us pay for fuel, food, hotels, etc. Uh, fly candy. Send us some clothes to keep us warm while we're up there. Much appreciated. And Parajet. Uh, uh, I think Giles this week is down at Parajet picking up a box full of spares that we're just going to keep on Andy's van. Uh, in a sort of, just in case, you know, spare prop, spark plugs, uh, bits for the Moster. Not a lot for the Bailey, really. I'm just hoping it just continues to continue to chug away. Uh, I've got a bit of an oil leak, so I'll be carrying oil and monitoring that if I don't get a chance to fix it before the flight. Just seep it out from uh, one of the pulleys. But the main news is possible sponsor for me as a, as a pilot. Not for any particular event, but sponsored pilot. So just in sort of vague talks about that at the moment, hoping to confirm over the next week or two. So that'll be good. Make life a bit easier where um, 
doing crazy adventures is concerned. Help planning, financial help, kit help. Right, I'm going to get on the ground, see what sort of landing we can squeeze out with all this weight on. Oh, it feels so good to be up. Just looking down there and seeing that. Look at this mud. So, a quick plug for the Rafa 40. There's a Facebook page link below. There's a Just Given link on that page. Chuck a fiver in, chuck a tenner in, chuck 150 in, whatever you want to do. Uh, it's all much appreciated. It's all going to a very good cause. And if you like the Facebook page, we can keep you updated on what's happening with the planning, uh, when the tracking stuff goes live. That'll be on there as well. Uh, that'll all be good. So, moderately most of my Icarus load. 1,500 feet. Woo! Let's get down. Let's do a tick over. Drift down, everything looking beautiful up there. Oh, rocky. That made me jump. Sort of dropped about 10 foot. So, foot cam has died. Look at that sock. Seems to be. No, I can't quite see it from up here. So let's lose a bit of height. Yes. Oh, that guy's through. Get a gusty crap up here. Time to land, grasshopper. Landing direction is roughly the same. Oh, we drop in very slowly. This would be a good time to try big ears. Oh, we haven't got my reserve attached. Reserve. And all that. Yank. Let's throw. Reserve chat. That's another one to do. Perhaps I've got time to do that here. When I was training, I asked my trainers if they flew with the reserve, and uh, they didn't. And the justification was, don't fly in conditions that are likely to cause a collapse. Don't do manoeuvres that are likely to cause a collapse. Um, old school guys who really know the score, and they don't fly with the reserve. So I haven't done, I only bought this one because it was a requirement for the Icarus. You've got to carry one on the Icarus. So if one came up for sale, I bought it. Didn't want to spend the money on it. Fixed it. it to tell the truth, now it's on. It's not that bulky or a pain at all. Um, and I'm more comfortable for having it there, psychologically. But I think I would like to fly, I'm not going to say you should, I would like to fly with a reserve all the time. Um, something I'm hoping my sponsor can help me with is getting a reserve and a nice neat container, preferably one of those little Parajet ones that sits in the, uh, the harness pocket, because I don't use those harness pockets at all. Right, I better get this seat away. I don't use those harness pockets at all, so if there were a reserve in there that wasn't too bulky and I was happy to have it there then I'd rather have it than not have it because I've had a couple of rocky moments where I've wished my reserve wasn't on the shelf in the garage um, they were just rocky moments that scared me due to my tolerance level um, obviously nowhere near the capability of handling, turbul handling turbulence that my wing has it was just uh, purely a me and lack of experience and getting rocked and you know thinking I was gonna die and then I pictured in my mind my reserve sat on the shelf in my garage and that bothered me so shortly I will be flying with a reserve constantly 
one way or another. Okay, we're into wind, coming nice and low. It's more or less down the field. That'll do. I don't care where I land. Oh, nice bit of sinking there. Oscillation, straighten it up. Lovely. It's beautiful. And it's a lot of weight to carry. Oh, and we're down beautifully. Kelly, for once, put the wing down. No, he can't. Still going forward. Don't want to come down. Oh, there we go. That was a nice little flight. I enjoyed that cold didn't bother me so it's not as cold in flight come on landed on the ground job done yeah the cold was dealable up there the face is a bit fresh oh foot cam's gone what the bloody hell's going on here I've lost my foot cam that must have come off on landing. There it is. Oh. The actual bracket has snapped. Look at that. The search continues for a robust Foot cam mount. I'm carrying a lot of weight. This is heavy. Oh, this field is boggy. Find a dry bit. Always undo your leg straps first. Because if you forget and try and put your parameter down, and your leg straps are still done up. And there's anyone to see that happen. You look like a right spanner. Success. Significantly more weight than I've launched with before. Took off okay, apart from that brake line. Handled that okay. It felt just like that time. That time I hit that tree was due to a uh, cravat. I'll link that video here. People seem to like watching that. It gets a lot more views than everything else. Because <laughs> there's drama in it. It felt like that. I took off then and immediately started pulling to the right. When I took off that time and started pulling to the right, it felt like the same thing and I looked up to check there was no cravat. So that's what I was looking at. I was looking at my wing and I couldn't see anything wrong with it. And I'm still feeling it pulled to the right. I've got a lot of left brake on, keeping myself straight and looking up at my wing and it looks okay. And then I had to wait. 20 or 30 seconds for my brain to think oh hold on you know it's obviously not the wing it must be something else and then I noticed the back of the wing just pulled down and my brake lines didn't have any bowed slack in them they were tight it was just pulling enough brake to put me in a right hand bank not extreme not as extreme as the um, the tree saga but enough that I needed a decent bit of constant left brake to keep it straight so if you ever feel something similar check everything yeah success take off landing with a lot more weight than normal that'll do it for today we're expecting a lot of snow tomorrow night well not a lot of snow five centimeters maybe on the forecast it's not a lot of snow when some of the people that watch you are in Canada but it's a decent chunk for us here and I want so much to get up on a real still day after a good snowfall it's one of those it's one of those flights that's on the list you know you want your own version just like you want your own selfie with the wing with your shadow on it halfway through a wing over I really want a sort of snowy morning flight uh, but it looks like the wind's gonna be too strong after the snow but if I can, I will. We'll see what happens. So, thanks for watching. 
sorry there's not loads of news but there's not loads of flying going on I'll see you next time Thank you.